A two year old avoided tragedy yesterday after he was trapped in a hot car in 90 degree heat. The toddler's mother now faces misdemeanor child abuse charges. Police say 21 year old Ashley Garris left him in her car while she went into Ulta Beauty. Officers say the temperatures in the car was around 115 degrees when he was rescued. The baby was taken to Zoe's restaurant to cool down and then transported to Viden as a precaution. Officer Elliot Groon responded within three minutes of getting that call. I'm just happy that I was a short distance away and was able to respond. It's, it's very dangerous and it's about to be summertime, so we want to just get the work out and uh, educate people that should not leave a child in the car. Garris bonded out of Pitt County's detention center. Fortunately, the toddler is doing okay. It's not just children who can suffer if stuck inside a hot car for too long. And yeah, WNCT's Tamara Scott talked with a doctor today to break down what happens to your body, Tamara. Right now, it's just over 80 degrees in here, which is why I have the AC blasting. But as soon as I turn the car off, that's when everything changes. I don't understand how you can forget your kids in the car. Tiffany Barrett, like many parents, goes everywhere with her two children. You know, they're talking to me while I'm driving. I look back in my rearview mirror while they're while I'm driving. She says, especially with the summer months ahead, she pays extra attention to her children during outing. I would never, ever, ever do anything to put them in danger. Unfortunately, it happens more than you think. Only 17% are intentionally left in a car. Over 50% are forgotten. Vida Injury Prevention Coordinator Ellen Walston says it surprises people how fast these things happen. A car's temperature can rise 30 degrees degrees in 20 minutes, so cracking the windows does not make a difference. We hear stories every year. A child or pet suffers because someone forgot they are in the vehicle. So what actually happens to your body if you're sitting in a hot car? When you reach a temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit with the heat stroke, you start having confusion, difficulty breathing, your heart rate goes up. Dr. Shannon Longshore says that's when the body may begin to shut down. If the organs are damaged, especially the brain and the heart, you can't can't get that back. For children, the consequence may be worse. And a child will heat up three to five times faster than an adult, and they usually are in a restrained seat and have no capability to, to get out themselves. Dr. Longshore says if having a pet or a child in the back seat is out of the ordinary for you, be sure to keep some valuables in the back seat, like a phone or a wallet, so you know you'll be checking. Live in Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Tamara. Good tips there. Now, there are several things you can do to prevent overheating, whether inside a car or during any sort of outdoor activity. Head over to our website, WNCT.com, for some safety tips.